Yep, Tesla stock is going to $3,000 a share. It is midnight right now and I was just working out some numbers and all I could think is I've got to record a video about this. Tesla stock is gonna be $3,000 plus. I wanna break down all the numbers for you guys here that I have been working on, okay? And I'm gonna share some unbelievable numbers with you and then I'm gonna get into a part that is really scary about this. Really, really scary about after we get through these numbers, guys. It's unbelievable, okay? So first off, this is just looking at US vehicle sales in total, okay? New vehicle sales per year. In the US, there's around 16, 17 million new vehicle sales per year, all right? Now that number has peaked. It peaked in 2016 and is likely to continue to go down. Why is this? We got more people working at home, so we have less people needing multiple vehicles. We also have Uber, Lyft, a lot of drive sharing services, things like that, that have changed the, the way people commute around. So the importance of a car or vehicle in general it is going to slightly go down over time and I expect this to continue to go down for probably the next decade until we get to a, a level number all right so right now the way I see it is in five years we'll be at a, somewhere around 15 million vehicles sold per year around 15 million vehicles sold per year all right um, and that's assuming we're not in some massive recession five years from now just in a decent economy we should be doing around 15 million vehicles a year all right so the way I see this is I see Tesla having around a million vehicle sales in five years from now out of that 15 million. Why is this? Model 3 will continue to ramp. They may also have a, a future a car of some kind, maybe a $25,000 or $30,000 electric car, something even smaller that maybe can fit people that really are, are looking for super budget, something super small. They're gonna likely have Model Y in full scale, which is, in, in my opinion, probably gonna be their top selling SUV out there. They're gonna likely have a pickup truck out there. So in my opinion, in five years, a million sales per year in the United States of America is going to be pretty easy for Tesla the way they have branded. Why is this? Why is this? Tesla has no competition. Literally, Tesla has no competition. Like I like like it has amazed me how they have no competition out there. Who can you say is a real threat to Tesla? Name one company. Ford, give me a break. What are they doing? They haven't done anything. General Motors, are you kidding me? What have they done? Their, their vehicle sales are awful. Compare them to what Tesla's doing and it's not even on the same level of playing field, okay? You wanna compare them to the, uh, let's say the German, the German auto manufacturers out there, BMW, Mercedes, Audi. Oh, they're coming, they're coming. All these big guys are coming, right? That's what we keep hearing, right? Where are are they? Where are they with their electric vehicles? And then some people say, well, they don't want to come out with them yet just because they don't make money for them yet, right? Well, that's an invalid argument because here's what we know. We know Model 3 is outselling any of the German manufacturers out there by a large margin, and it's not even remotely close. Look at their sales versus BMW in August. Look at their sales versus Mercedes in August. Porsche, it doesn't matter who you wanna compete them against, they are absolutely dominating them, okay? Not just an electric versus electric, because most of those guys don't even have electric vehicles. We're talking electric versus ICE vehicles right now. Electric vehicles versus ICE vehicles in Tesla is, is, is on a whole other playing field. So when I look at this and then I look at the startup space what's going on with electric car companies in the startup space I see no threats at all as of right now there's there's they're non-existent and I look out here and I say the big guys are a joke the big guys are a joke I don't care who you want to point at they're all a joke there they have no chance the Tesla has a massive lead over these guys and the lead is getting bigger and bigger and bigger by each week that goes by each month that goes by each year that goes by Tesla lead gets bigger and bigger and compounded if you understand the way compounding works you can understand that when somebody gets a big lead and they keep that lead, it keeps expanding at a faster and faster rate until the snowball keeps going and going. It's no different than why Amazon is so far out in front of everybody right now, okay? The, the level of expansion with the company is unbelievable. So a million vehicle sales in the US, I think is gonna be pretty easy for them to pull off in five years from now, all right? So a million vehicle sales in the United States. I think the average selling price of their vehicles will be around 50,000. Why? Because some will be obviously a lower end, you know, Model 3s or maybe some type of Model 2 or something like that that comes down the road. Well, it's maybe a 25 or $30,000 car, but then you're gonna also have people that have the 100,000 plus dollar SUVs. You're gonna have people that have the Roadsters, uh, pickup trucks that maybe go into a 50, 60, $70,000 range. So in my opinion, somewhere around $50,000 will be the average selling price. Times that out by a million sales per year in the US, 
We're looking at $50 billion in revenue from the United States of America within five years, all right? $50 billion in sales just from the United States of America, all right? And that's five years from now. Now, in 10 years, the way I see it is I see us having around 10 million new vehicle sales per year, all right? For the, the reasons I already mentioned. And I think this will kind of be the number we bottom out at. And I think that's kind of where we'll stay long term. There's probably be that, that number of people out there that feel like they need to get a new vehicle each year. And that's just kind of where we'll be at, okay, in 10 years. So the way I think about this is I think Tesla within 10 years is going to have a 50% market share of total vehicle sales in the United States of America. I think their market share is going to be comparable to Apple out there, all right? I think the, the, the rest of everybody else, whoever is startups come down the road and whatever old dogs are left and haven't already been gone bankrupt. And by the way, a lot of the old dogs will be bought out by each other. So what you'll start to see over the next five to 10 years in the, in the automobile space, you'll see a lot of big companies buying other smaller auto manufacturers and kind of bulking them together and trying to do whatever they can, you know, fund resources together to try to battle off Tesla, right? And it's pretty much everybody in the auto industry against Tesla right now because they're, they're the ones that are going to be taking all the market share. So the way I see it is I see a Tesla doing around the half the market share. So that's around 5 million vehicles per year within 10 years in the United States of America. I think average selling prices by that time will be at around $70,000. Why? Because everything gets more expensive as we go through time. I remember being a kid and a new, if you wanted to get a new cheap car, you know, a cheap car, you know, a uh, entry level automobile, let's put it that way. You could get something for around eight, maybe $9,000. Now, honestly, a cheap car is anything under $20,000. All right. And it's not even like I'm that old. Okay. My 29th birthday is coming up here soon. All right. So I have seen nothing but inflation, 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 and the dollar becomes less and less over time. Vehicles, uh, you know, pricing goes up and up, especially as new features come on. 70,000 is where I figure it would be. 5 million sales per year. That's $350 billion in revenue per year just from United States automobile sales. Now, this is not even the scariest part of the valuation of Tesla and why this will be a $3,000 plus dollar stock, okay? Now I wanna get into why, why this is just the, the start of where things are going, okay? Let's get into part two. Alrighty guys, if that was not enough to give a massive bullish case for Tesla and why Tesla is gonna be $3,000 plus dollars per share, let's look at some more factors, okay? So as we spoke about, I expect them to be able to do $350 billion in vehicle sales 10 years from now just for the United States, all right? Keep that in mind. But here's the thing. What about China? What about Europe? What about Latin America? What about India? We know they have a massive growing economy and 1.2 billion people there, right? We know China is all about electric vehicles going forward. We know Tesla is going to be uh, opening a factory there in Shanghai within the next few years. What about all these markets? If they can get $350 billion just from a market that has a little over 300 million people, imagine what they can get from China, Europe, Latin America, and India, and some of those massive markets combined over the next 10 years. You gotta run numbers here and assume they can, if they can do 350 billion in the US alone, they should at least be able to do 350 billion from all those other massive amount of countries, okay? So if we look at this, this puts Tesla in a situation where where this could be a company bringing in $700 billion plus in revenue in 10 years from now. And these numbers start to get ridiculous and you just start to figure out how unbelievably uh, you know, uh, massive this company will really be in the future, all right? Now, also, this doesn't take into effect anything that they're doing on the solar side, electric storage, any of that. That's another massive part of Tesla's business in the future. Right now, it's totally thrown off to the side. Why? Because Tesla has a lot bigger things to focus on. Model 3 is ramping. This is their first vehicle that they've had to really launch in a massive way. Their, their full focus is around that right now, okay? And then their next focus is around Model Y and, and their Shanghai factory and getting that open, hopefully within the next few years and built and whatnot. That's where their focus is all right now and that's where their focus should be but over the over time they're going to have in a way and you know plenty of resources around they're going to have plenty of money around to throw into their solar business and their electric storage business which has massive potential going forward okay solar roofs the ability to have energy in your garage and not have to get it from the grid and things like that maybe even sell it back to electric companies 
All that type of stuff is a massive opportunity when you look out over the next decade. How much that is worth? I don't even want to quantify the numbers because that's too, that's too distant as of right now. But a lot of people feel like this could be a hundred billion plus dollar revenue type business in 10 years from now, okay? I don't want to throw any numbers around there. Just imagine what it can be. Then, also, do you think they're going to stop at, at doing this? Do you think they're just going to come out with some, some vehicles? They're going to come out with Model They've come out with Model 3. They come out with Model Y. They come out with the pickup truck, the, the Roadster they've already announced and whatnot, a semi-truck. And do you think that's, that's going to be it for them? They're just going to have some solar roofs in those products? No. As with all big companies, they find the next product to go into and the next service to disrupt, all those type of things. You know, the thing about Apple, think about Apple 10 years ago. It was a, it was a much different company than, than the Apple today, right? iPhones were just starting out. It was really seen as still as a computer company back then. The iPad hadn't even been invented yet, or at least not shown off or anything like that. They didn't have anything like an Apple Watch or, or they weren't in the headphone business. They didn't have this massive services business. Like, like Apple 10 years ago was a massively different business than Apple in 2018, okay? They're, they're not even on the same level. So the way I see this, if you think Tesla is just gonna be content with coming out with some vehicles and doing that and some, uh, some storage products for electricity and whatnot. No, this, this company is going to continue to push for new product services in, in, in uh, you know, adjacent industries and, and things you never even thought possible before. So when I look at Tesla, I see a company that is going to be unbelievably big in the future. Unbelievably big. One of the biggest companies literally in the entire world, if not the biggest company in the entire world in terms of revenue in the future. I think when I look out really at, at revenue in the future, well, you know, a profitability is an, another segment we could talk about, you know, because Google will be there, Facebook will be there, Apple will be there in profitability. But if we're talking about revenue numbers, in, in the long term, it could honestly be a game between Tesla and, and Amazon in terms of uh, overall revenue numbers. So when I look at Tesla, this will easily be a $3,000 plus dollar stock. As long as they can get through the short term stuff they're going through and, and make it out to the other side, there is nothing but upside for this company because they honestly have virtually no competition. Like, like like, like name one competitor that you think is a, a serious competitor against them. They're, they're, no one, okay? No one's doing numbers. No one's doing numbers on the electric side like Tesla's doing or anything remotely close. No one's proven any great products out there that have tons of people excited. No one has anything like that, okay? And uh, the worst part is the, these, these other auto manufacturers, they're getting further and further behind each day, each week, each month, and each year. And Tesla's advantage is getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. So when I look at this, it's a, it's a fun, fun company when you look out into the future and what this company can be. So I want to know your guys' opinion on Tesla down there in the comment section. Do you think I'm a crazy man and Tesla is never going to be a $3,000 plus dollar stock? Do you think I'm crazy about these numbers? Do you think I'm right on? Do you think maybe some of my estimates are low? I would love to hear from you guys in that comment section. I'm sure there are a lot of opinions out there. I love to read them, guys. Anyways, if you love keeping up with stock market news, make sure you follow me on Instagram. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Hey.